Excuse me, mister. Ooh, I got a hundred on her. Hmm, that looks like it might explode. I think it might have enough to get me a bandolier. This might be the outhouse. Yep, that's the shooter. One, two shacks. Get on over here now. Let's see what you got. Now there's Nigel West Dickens. Well, we're gonna go over there to Bonnie. Come on. Wrong way. Living a bitch. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. Shit, was I supposed to help them? Take your job, do you? talking about cleaning my language up this is red dead redemption you think they got clean language in this i don't think so i'm fairly certain they'll talk about fucking their sisters here in a minute oh man if someone once told me i am an asshole but at least i'm their asshole <laughs> if they can see me murder people they can hear me curse why can't you put earbuds in are, are you like, see, see kids, this is what I used to play as a kid. And then there's me saying, they're about to start talking about fucking their sisters here in a minute. So I'm back between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. What the fuck does this look like? Please, could you put some fucking earbuds in? My mistake, sir. This is not a stream meant for fucking children. For fuck's sake. You know, earlier I was talking about coming in a woman from behind. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Making me go all the way around? I'm in a fancy suit, woman. All right. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so flippant. Oh, jeez. I'm not, miss. They they ran into me. You saw them. Obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just beep beep. You in the slow lane. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I think BPI like um... friends, Mr. Farland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but don't leave the reins. I don't know. Where are you going? I thought you were driving. Oh, stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. And you've I never appreciate into your anything concern I'll for try. us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. Can we try to stay on the road? And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Right, there you go. You never did tell me where you live. 
I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Fudge. Uncle. Well, Almost you know right. Uncle, as far as I know, just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard <laughs> on a hot day. Kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Bitches, we in town. We're here to fuck shit up and take names. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan, it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. What up, ju uh, doctor? I am a gentleman of the highest caliber. Please treat me as such. How can I help you? All right, general store. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more <laughs> than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Howdy, oh, howdy. Right. Son of a bitch! Help! Go no hard, gun. Stinking whore. I'm gonna cut you a new... Get off me, you son of a bitch! Fuck! Don't mention it, miss. Sorry about this, partner. Ah! Oh, I think I got enough for a bandolier. Jeb Murphy's the name, and I got all the armaments you... Hey, partner. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? I got me a fire in. John's elected governor. Care to join us? You got cash, right? Sounds good to me. As well. Ooh, now I've got three of a kind. That's pretty good. They could probably beat me. I have to have a jack. Somebody had a queen and a jack. Might beat me. Pair of kings. Sorry. Check. Three of a kind, kings. Three of a kind Over kings. Next hand. Did I lose? I lost. I love this part. Now, here's something you don't see every day. Uh, Call you. Queen three ace. Back. Back queen. Yeah. Ten. Ten jack queen. Yeah, sorry. That's because I, I, I wasn't speaking into my mic. Uh, I'm going to check. check. Two tens. Ooh. No. I would need a queen. Well, we'll check anyways. Ooh. Uh, fold. I don't have a good enough. What? Oh, quit. <laughs> yeah, I am losing. Fold that shit. <laughs> Money. 65. Wait, what? Open bait. Looking for? Ooh, found three dollars. Howdy. How's it going? Ooh, the elegant suit will allow me to cheat at poker. Sure about that? Look out, Mister. Go to hell. Let's see. We gotta go to the bitch's house up there. Let <laughs> me run very awkwardly. Hello. Oh yeah. You think she needed to find a different uh, uh, tennis way before now? Miss yeah, she definitely could have used someone to look at that grill. Have you, Miss McFarland? 
Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Maybe what you can say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Yeah. Probably Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. All right, Bonnie, you seem a little bit of a tomcat. Yeah, I'll try not to forget the side quest. Although, I don't have Luke here to tell me which way to go. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains... Why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. Poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English haggis and a they'd kilt? done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets That's true. I can't forget those scars on your face. They make you look a little odd. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage, Wow. ran away, and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good Kilts are fun. Kilts are like Great skirts man. for men, right? But you killed people. Sure, and I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. Oh, hey there, KC. I extra hand to take out the herd to pass. <laughs> we can start now. Sure. Point well, the Marston rest. there, uh, his mom was a prostitute, and she died in childbirth, childbirth, and his father was, well, he doesn't really know what his father was, but his father was killed uh, in a bar fight. Or wait, no, he went blind in a bar fight. And... Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't know what we were doing. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. Ah, oh, that's a poker term. Lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so oh. sure about that. Oh, yeah. But thank you. Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Easy now. Uh, no, that wasn't a good job. Oh. Hold on. Come on. There we go. Heard, heard the cows down the road towards the pasture. Hey, hard, is it? Slowly sweep back and forth behind the herd. Keep them moving in a single direction. <laughs> Running those guys over would have been bad. Yeah. I think so. Okay, so we're going this way. They got aversion to horses. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's me showing off and stuff. Looking at the herd. Looking at the herd. Ah! You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. It really wasn't that hard. I have work to do back at the ranch.
$73. Wait, now they're all dispersing. What's going on? Honor plus 100. Okay. Doing the cows wasn't all that hard, you know? Oh! Jeez. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Well, hello there, buddy. How, are you? How are you doing? Thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston. That's your father? father I thought your Martin. father was dead. Not a handlebar mustache. Martin. My daughter informs me that I still got my pants on. Secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. I got my shoes off, and my Something socks off like though. That. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indian tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought and smallpox. Terrible winter, in cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. <laughs> when I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents federal to government. covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. And you're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret mission. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? <laughs> Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. <laughs> or a city dweller, that is. Does he? <laughs> you're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the know ride? He don't know much about politics. Wheel. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. I, I don't wanna look at the herd. There they are! Let's get after them! Yeah, fuck Break you guys! We're gonna get you! Yeah. Hold that damn rope, Marston! Whoa! I, I, went, I went directly into a tree. My bad. Here we go. I, I, gotta, I gotta stay centered on the horse, and it's trying to fuck me the fuck off. No, no, no. I gotta stay centered. And... Oh, come on, come on. There, there, yeah. Tire the fuck out, horse. Awesome. We'll make a cowboy out of you yet. Let me take him from here. You get back on your own horse. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. Come on then. Let's see if you can get another one. Let's go. All right. So we're supposed to lasso another wild horse. Hey, I wonder. Oh, ow, ow, shit. Are horses native to North America, or did we bring them here? I think we brought them here. Yeah, because the conquistadors. Well, no. Yeah. 
I mean, they they had them, but they, you know, they already had them here. That's it! Hold him there! All of yours! Hop on and show him boss! Rope him! He's right there! That's it! All right. Nearly there! Easy! Easy now! Easy! Stop it! Easy! I feel too good! Oh! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, you gotta stay centered on the back, and, and I mean, that's how you do it. They're gonna try to buck you off, but what you gotta do is you gotta stay all centered and stuff, otherwise you gotta start all over again. You're gonna have to catch their ass, and oh look, there you go. You're tamed as fuck. Yeah, we got ourselves two more horses. Let's get back to the ranch. Can we please shoot some shit now? Like, uh, it'd be awesome if I could, like, shoot a fucking horse or something. I like I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll zap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's it's no great. Night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. <laughs> Some dad must be shy a joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at busting Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Oh, you fucking troll horse knocking me off the goddamn road. <laughs> Marston, these are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Oh, okay. Davis was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. All right. Are we only going to catch two of them out of the entire herd? You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure asked a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your... Countrified. Miss McFarland. From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looked. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Right behind the herd. Where it narrows. We'll trap them there. Where's the herd? I don't see the herd. My signal! And don't let those horses out of your sight! Right you are, miss! Crap. Cut one off from the herd. Gotta get him back. Alright, this is a little bit harder herding. Yeah. There you go. I have no idea how how do I slow whoa, down? Whoa. Come on. Fuck <laughs> be patient. <laughs> I'm I, I'm not exactly trying to be I'm not trying to be impatient. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm trying to actually get them all riled up. Go. Come on now. No way. Do something right now. There you go. Oh shit. Supposed to go that way? Going the wrong way. Come on! We're going this way. Ah, oh, good, finally. I ain't gonna let him get away now. I'm gonna go get him. 
fuck? This is crap. Beat the shit out of my horse too much. I think I can find this stallion. He's right in front of me. You see him? Right there? Oh, fuck. Where'd he go? He's over there. Quit running! Missed. Yeah, come here now. I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna break you so hard, you're gonna wish you never been broke. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on. Nearly That's right. You gonna get broke. You gonna get broke and you's gonna like it, stallion. Come on. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come keep on. you. Come on. I'm gonna baby. keep you, stallion. Yeah, just chill out. Take some chill pills. It's fine. This don't you know. too good. Relax. I, I, Nearly there. There you go. And just stop fucking. There we go. Come on. Hoop, hoop, hoo. Can I lasso a cactus? I sure was trying. The fuck am I going? Just ran this horse right into a wall. That, 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 that can't be comfortable. Hey there, Bonnie. How you doing? Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. I just gotta spend $50 to get a saddle. Let's go. 